Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I wanna show you how to brighten or lighten dark video or dark footage, dark clips, anything that you may have filmed at night. Maybe you're a film student and you got some shots, but they're dark and you wanna lighten them up. Well, here we go. Here's the original shot I'll show you here. It is incredibly dark. This is poorly shot, it's at night. It's not going to be that great, but I've made some changes to it. And if I turn them on, you'll see here that I've gone ahead and I've created it so that while it's not great, it is much more, you can very clearly see that this is on a ship and that it's white and red, where in the original shot, you can't really see anything other than the middle lights here. So how did I do it? I'm gonna show you step by step. And do keep in mind that if you have a copy of Premiere Pro, I highly recommend that you use Premiere Pro. It's much better at it. And I have a tutorial on this uh, that I'll link in the description below. But assuming you don't have a paid copy of Premiere Pro, let's do our best inside of Runway ML. Okay, let's go back to our projects page. And you know what? The hell with it. Let's just start from scratch. First step, runwayml.com. Type that in. You get two options. You can either log in if you've got a, a, an account or you can sign up and it is free and it really is free. It's pretty damn cool. So I'm going to click on login um, and here we go. On the left side that's slowly loading here, you're going to see you can create a new project. You can have up to three projects. I'm going to go ahead and click on create project, create video composition. Now we're rolling. Now the next step is I'm going to go into my finder and I'm going to find that terrible footage. I've got a bunch of really dark videos in this one. I'm going to use this one here. I believe this is the one. I'm going to drag it and drop it right into the center here, right over top of the um, panel, the middle panel. When I do that, it takes a few seconds and it's going to load up the footage. If I hit space bar, that means I can play it. And you can see here that we're working with some very dark footage that you can barely make out that this is a boat and you can't really make out the colors. Now, there are a few ways to do this. Uh, I'm going to show you, um, if you want to, you can try to do it with um, effects and filters. However, I'm going to tell you straight up front that the current filters don't really get it done, like a brightness and contrast, or even a hue, saturation, and lightness one, which is right here. This is the one that you would expect to work. It doesn't work properly, so just keep that in mind. I want to save you some time giving it a shot. Now, the way to do this, in fact, is to go to the left side and click on solid. When you click solid, it creates a white solid, and that's cool. That's exactly what we want unless you want a special color to your light. So this white solid doesn't work out of the box here, and if it's not white, just make it white. Um, and you can do that by clicking on this color here and then just setting it all the way to the top. Okay, good. F, 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 like every one of my report cards. <laughs> okay, good, so we've got a white solid. Click on the solid like I've done here, and now this is the critical part. You wanna go up here and you wanna change the percentage. We're gonna change it to 40. And then it's going to be like, okay, this looked kind of cool, but the whole thing is lit and it doesn't look right. So what you need to do is you need to change the blend mode. So you've changed the percentage to 40, change the blend mode to soft light. This is the critical part. We're changing that up. Now, when I hit space bar, you can very clearly see that we've got some red, some white here. It's not too noisy. It's not perfect footage, don't get me wrong but also keep in mind that this is rendering it in 1920, what we're seeing, but the actual file itself is 4K. So when you hit export, it'll it'll look a little better than what you're seeing here, at least it should in theory. Um, what else do we got here? So I'm gonna click back on the solid here. You can dial in the 40%. This is a number that worked for me. If you want it to be a subtle effect, do 20. If you want it to be a little crazy, you can maybe try 50 or whatever the heck. Um, notice though at 50, it starts to get a little bit choppy and blocky and a little uh, artifacty. But again, this is kind of based on your needs. So this is the correct technique in my opinion. If you have any other questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.